now we will demonstrate another experiment that is time division multiplexing shortly called tdm tdm is widely used in digital communication network to transmit multiple signals simultaneously through the common communication channel different signals are transmitted on a time shared basis each signal will be allotted with fixed time slot and a sample of message signal will be transmitting during the allotted time slot so that is the principle of time division multiplexing to demonstrate in the lab we are considering two message signal the one message signal is sinusoidal around 500 hertz of frequency and 10 volts of amplitude sinusoidal signal is considered as message one and we are considering another message as a triangular message that is called message two around one kilohertz of frequency and 10 volts of peak to peak amplitude is considered as message two. Now we are using switching signal as a high frequency square wave using as a switching signal around 10 kilohertz of frequency and 15 volts peak to peak amplitude of square wave is used as a switching signal. Operation wise, during the positive amplitude of the square wave, a sample of sinusoidal wave, that is sample of message 1 will transmit through a common communication channel. That's what you are observing in the graph. And during negative amplitude of the square wave, a sample of message 2, that is a sample of triangular wave will transmit via communication channel. Again, after transmitting sample of triangle, during next positive amplitude of the square wave, the another sample of sine wave will be picked repeatedly. That's what you can observe in the waveform. So, TDM output looks like a combination of both message 1 and message 2, but they are transmitting, that means message 1 and message 2 are transmitting via common communication channel on the basis of time sharing manner. Here each sample of the message signal shared by time. So this is the time division multiplexed output. To demonstrate TDM, again we are using ICCD4051 that is analog multiplexer or demultiplexer. As we discussed earlier, essentially we are supposed to connect pin number 6, 8, 9, 10 must be grounded. Here pin number 11 that is selection input line A should be connected to a switching signal as shown in the graph around 10 volts of peak to peak and sorry uh, 15 volts of peak to peak and uh, 10 kilohertz of square wave will be given as a switching signal and that will be fed at pin number 11 and two message signal that is two band limited low frequency message signal that is message 1 and message 2 must be connected to pin number 14 and 13 respectively here I am connecting message 1 that is M1 of T around 10 volts of peak to peak and 500 of frequency sinusoidal wave is connected to pin number 14 and around 10 volt of peak to peak 1 kilohertz of frequency triangular wave considered as M2 of T is connected to pin number 13 and as usual pin number 16 and 7 is meant for power supply. Now operation wise during the positive amplitude of the switching signal that is during the positive amplitude of the square wave pin number 14 will connect as an output so that a part or a sample of the sine wave will appear as a TDM output and during the negative amplitude of the square wave pin number 13 will select as an output therefore the sample of the triangular wave will transmit via pin number 3 so now the output coming across pin number 3 is time division multiplexed output which essentially consists of both sine wave and triangular wave they are transmitting via pin number 3 on the time sharing basis so rig up the circuit is as shown in the circuit diagram now the circuit is rigged up this is for time division multiplexing output generation block where uh, pin number 6 8 9 10 are connected to ground 
essentially pin number 6, 8, 9 and 10 are connected to ground and uh, 16 and 7 is connected to power supply and pin number 11 is of around uh, 10 kilohertz of frequency and 15 volts of amplitude square wave is connected as a switching signal and that's supposed to be connected to pin number 11 and uh, we are considering two message signal the one message signal is sine wave around 500 of frequency and 10 volts of amplitude is considered as message one and uh, another message is a triangular wave of 1 kilohertz of frequency around 10 volts of amplitude these two messages respectively connected to pin number 14 and 13 that is message 1 sinusoidal wave is connected to pin number 14 of ICCD 4051 and message 2 is connected to pin number 13 of ICCD 4051 and we are observing the output across pin number 3 you can observe the output on CRO the channel 1 showing the time division multiplexed output and channel 2 we are just showing switching signal during the positive amplitude of the switching signal it is picking a sample of sine wave you can observe that during the positive amplitude a sample of sine waves are picked via, uh, via transmission channel and uh, during the negative amplitude of uh, switching signal a sample of triangular waves are picked so these two message signal that is sine wave and triangular wave are the, considered as two band limited signals they are transmitting via a common communication channel using at, uh, on the basis of time sharing manner in order to demultiplex the time division multiplex signal again we are using ICCD 4051 here this ICCD 4051 is configured as demultiplexer now this IC is worked as 1 is to 2 demultiplexer so as usual pin number 11 acts as selection line whatever the switching signal we are used at the multiplexing side the same switching signal must be connected to demultiplexer also so that the reliable message signals can be reconstructed now the TDM output across pin number 3 will act as input at the demultiplexer side again that must be connected to pin number 3 now whenever the switching signal is positive in amplitude pin number 3 will connect to an output channel 14 so that essentially pin number 3 have a sample of sine wave so that can be reconstructed with the help of a capacitor across pin number 14 and whenever the switching signal having a negative in amplitude so TDM output consists a sample of triangular wave that is message 2 and that will be routed to pin number 13 again it can be reconstructed with the help of capacitor across pin number 13 so the output can be observed in the way CRO so this is the output observed from pin number 13 and pin number 14 so approximately the original triangular wave and the original square wave can be reconstructed across pin number 14 and 13.